years ago, exactly around this time, we launched this vision in this room and said to the world, if you want to change the world, New Zealand can be your platform for it. We've selected 145 fellows from 34 countries. 39 of those fellows are from Aotearoa, New Zealand. Right now, today, while we're here, over 80,000 acres of rainforest will get cut down. Nearly 200 species, God's great creatures, will go permanently extinct. What are we going to do? EHF is a bet that entrepreneurs can help catalyze these shifts. EHF is built with deep respect for those who turn insights and ideas from the realm of what's possible into our shared reality. Entrepreneurs of New Zealand and the world, we want to work with you. We want to support you by your side to help your dreams come alive. And we can all do it, like Sir Ed, one step at a time. It is my honor to follow in the footsteps of a great man. Thank you, Brother Matthew, for passing me this Manuka stick. <laughs> Manuka is a small tree but it is so tough that it defeats even steel saw blades. In this way, it is like Aotearoa New Zealand, a small but mighty nation that has led the world again and again in ways that have changed life as we know it for the better. This is the nation that gave Sir Edmund Hillary the iron will and wide-ranging resourcefulness to summit Mount Everest and inspire the world. Two years ago, the New Zealand government, Hillary Institute, and Kiwi Connect partnered over a bold vision. The vision of leveraging the coming technological renaissance to green the New Zealand economy and improve well-being for all her citizens. In my new role as EHF board chair, it is my privilege to serve alongside the illustrious Bill Kermode of Next Foundation, Kate Frickberg of Think Tank Consulting, Anaki Goodall, chair of the Hillary Institute, and now Wayne Mulligan, chair of Te Ateawa Taranaki Fanui. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter if we're wrong, what matters is we're having a go. Um, and if we knew all the answers, then we probably don't know the right questions. Um, but the most important thing I, I want to do is I want to make New Zealand uh, petroleum free and no petroleum based products in any of our food services. With this Manuka branch, I vow to give my gifts in service of New Zealand and to this noble cause. Thank you.